If you don't know what this game is, I don't blame you. I know it's been a very long time since, uh, well, not a very long time, it's more like six days, but uh, I have some explanation for that. It's a shitty one, but it's still an explanation. Uh, I've been playing RuneScape to make some money for the double XP weekend that's happening literally today. Uh, so I'm just gonna record a video and then we'll go back to RuneScape to mash out my dragon bones for my 99 prayer. I hope everyone's cool with that, but like I said, it's just, I, I just, that's all I've been doing. <laughs> I've been making money for 99 prayer and I'm doing 99 prayer. <laughs> but other than that, if you don't know what this game is, it's Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Uh, I don't blame you if you don't know what this game is. Uh, this game is literally the game that started my channel. I'll be very small, but uh, it's growing at a rate that I'm happy with, so I don't mind. It might be small, but hopefully one day we'll be able to have, uh, to be able to start big events. Hopefully, one day. <laughs> and I've also been playing a lot of Valheim too, so, uh, with my friends, which I do have recording footage of that, but that will be a very long time for now because that's over 12 hours of footage I have to go through, and I'm not really, really want to sift through all that right now. Mm. But it's going to be good, trust me. But, this is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. This is, uh, I probably mentioned this a few times in the past. If you, if I did, I don't remember, obviously. Uh, but this is my favorite roguelike game on Earth. There is no game that uh, has hit the random uh, improvisation survival game more than this game. This game... Is the, is the equivalent of the single character story driven roguelike as much as Dwarf Fortress is in Fortress mode. If you don't know what Dwarf Fortress is, I recommend you search that up. That game is uh, super popular now. It's it's there's a lot of there's a lot of articles and stuff about it. It's like the old one of the oldest games, not as old as Unreal World, mind you, but one of the oldest games that has a insane generator and it's just and it procedurally generated throughout the whole thing. So, this is made this is mainly going to be the introductory video for this because there's a lot to cover uh for our character. It's already been pre-built. I learned from the last time cuz I do have videos about cataclysm but for the love of god and my own sanity, do not watch them. Uh they're just up there mainly so my friends can rag on me, it seems. <laughs> But that was a completely different creative time, and there was a completely different reason behind that. But now, this is a restart of what I wanted to do with Cataclysm. This character is going to be one of my favorites, I think, because this is the hardest world settings I've ever created. They've also updated a shitload for the game that I have no idea about. So there's going to be a lot of fumbling around... A lot of uh, just just learning new things because I was play testing to start myself, and there's a lot of things that are new that I didn't know. Uh, I've died over f fifteen times uh, well, with different start scenarios, with like heroin addict, which is just not fun. And then I boiled up to this idea of just starting naked in the woods. So this is our character. Uh, I'm just going to show you the world settings. Uh, the character will be afterwards, but this is the world settings. I meant to say world settings, sorry. Uh, these are our world settings. Not a lot of mods because all the mods you see there don't work right now. Uh, most of the mods don't work right now. Uh, I wanted to keep the dino mod in, but... Uh, with the amount of spawns that we have, the there's literally more dinosaurs than there are monsters on the map. Like, I've seen more dinosaurs when I was testing it than actual normal wildlife, and I didn't want that. I wanted the hunts to be not very easy, because we're starting in the middle of the woods. Uh, keep in mind, this would add a very dangerous, uh, creature to hunting. I might just add it anyways. You know, I'm gonna fucking add it. There we go. We're keeping it in. We're just gonna copy the world settings. Uh, but these are our mods. I'll explain to them right now. With Dark Days Ahead, this is the original core pack. You need this to play the game. Uh, this is always there. You only need two mods here uh, to actually like play the game in a completely different light. It's these two. Magiclism, which adds magic to the game. And Dark Days Ahead. But all the other stuff here is just alternative, like, just stuff you can do and to have more content for, for my own sanity uh, and to enjoy the game. So, we have Blaze Industries, which just adds a, uh, at the bottom here, just a tons and tons and tons and tons of vehicle add-ons. 
uh, so we can make an insane death mobile if we want to, if we can even get to, because we're starting out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and cities are very rare. I made sure that I do not despawn, but they're incredibly rare. Uh, crit expansion is literally just a tons of guns, weapons, monsters, mutations. Uh, it says all down here, uh, melee, st melee styles and some QOL and a wood changes. I don't know what those are, but awesome. <laughs> I have, I've had uh, the reason why we have these mods because I've experienced little to no issues. Uh, Magiclism is an amazing mod. Just adds magic to the game. Very simple. There's magical mobs, trolls, owlbears, you know, da dangerous shit, mind you. Very dangerous shit. But definitely very fitting for what I want this to be. Uh, we're not going for realism here. We're going for what is the most fun, enjoyable, and difficult I can make it for myself. Because it's going to get worse from here. It's going to be absolutely insane. Uh, gun cotton adds a way to make uh, gun cotton based explosives. Very minor explosives to like uh, like gunpowder so we can make our own make our own shots for musket rifles if we get there because you can make your own muskets in this game which would be an awesome thing for us to make from nothing and mining mod adds a way to get metal if there is zero chances of us to find metal it's a very low albeit high very low risk way of getting metal so that's in the game alternative map key don't even know what this does it just changes the icons for the maps i have yet to see like how big of an issue it has uh it's been changed over the years, like different map keys and stuff has been formed, so whatever. Cars to Rex, my favorite mod for vehicles in this game. Uh, makes it so that you can't find fully repaired vehicles in cities as often. I never liked that about Cataclysm. There's hundreds and hundreds of zombies all over the place. Everything is going to be basically destroyed unless you're very lucky, which is what Cars to Rex makes it so that vehicles are extremely rare completely ruined and makes it so that you either have to build your own vehicle or god has to like you that one day and then Sekronom. this is overall my favorite mod this game this mod let's see the description is insane oh actually it's in a, it's even in a stable state too which is excellent but this this mod pack is very 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 difficult it makes the game completely different it adds horrifying monsters that will tear you in half in a second it adds completely new uh robots and people to the game it, it's just it just makes it so that you could I, I i don't know everything about Sekronon. keep that in mind it adds like new weapons armor you know like weird just late game shit right but again I don't know exactly what it gives. All I know is that it's an incredible mod. Uh, I die a lot when I use it, and that's what I want to see. It just makes the game way more interesting. I, I would not recommend this if you're new to Cataclysm, if you're learning this game for the first time because of me. This is definitely not your mod. Do not play with Sekronom. Learn the game first, then if you, you're tired of how easy it gets, play Sekronom. Simple as that. Very challenging mod. Whoever made it is a man who, or woman or person. I don't care. They deserve all the love and credit that they deserve for making this. It is incredible. I literally worship this mod like a literal deity. It's... I, I, I can't say enough about it. It's just amazing. <laughs> uh, we have... I don't know what these are. I just wanted to see. This, this one I know. It's really nice. Um, I actually might just take these off. Yeah, we're going to take those off uh these make it so that when you when you get seen by an enemy you know you, you can see a little exclamation point on it if it's yellow it's tracking if it's red it sees you which is really it's just a nice visual feedback for for you to know what's happening now for the balance mod there's only one balance mod because a it's bionic slots i hate the bionic system before uh not because it was not because of it was bad or anything it was just super op I love bionic slots because there's only so many metal components you can stick inside your body before you can't function anymore. So, we have bionic slots. Which a lot of people would say, man, that's that really like limits you from the game itself. Trust me, we don't even need bionics to become absolutely fucking broken. Alright, you literally just go, there's two, there's two paths you can go with this. There's the mutation path and only stick to mutations or the bionic path. You, you could go with both of them. You don't gotta pick one or two. It's, it's both. You can go with both. 
So I'm going with both because this is a free roam start. This is a free roam character. There's no challenge. It's just unbelievably difficult and it's going to be a fucking nightmare. That's all it is. There's no actual difficulty. There's no like actual challenge for the character. It's just do whatever the hell we can to live. Uh, so we got Bionic's thoughts to make Bionic's less broken because I'll tell you right now, Bionic's in my opinion are stronger than uh, mutations. Depending, depending on what you get. For mutations because um uh some of the mutations i won't spoil it but they can make you basically just uh like have your whole body work together and stuff that's uh, i'll give a little hit it's a cell you can become like a cell and that's what if not the strongest but very rng based care uh mutation path the one i'm gonna go for is the safest option but in my opinion one of the strongest options i'll probably go with something else uh I'll, maybe i'll make this guy into a rat you know you never know what 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 the tables of cataclysm will throw upon you and then the dino mod which i've already explained about which is just adds dinosaurs to the game which are fucking awesome we can even ride some oh shit all right we'll keep it in well life will find a way thank you uh but there's also zombie variants uh, that when i was testing it which are insanely strong but we expect this character not to live for very long that's all i'm saying uh, is there anything else that we would like to have? No. No, none of these. I don't like these mods. Uh, I can see for a roleplay uh, aspect, have these. Uh, I would I would get stats through skills because it's based off your character's progression, rather. But I, I just like to think that my guy is just a random schmuck in the woods. He's a bit better than the average characters. But other than that, we're keeping it as that. We're, we're a dude that lives in the woods basically like he look, the story for my character is i wanted to be a heroin addict uh but heroin is just it's just a, a random lottery start i don't like lottery starts i like starts that force you to be good at the game such as uh the lab start yes there's a little bit of luck for lab starts which if you don't know what i'm talking about there's these huge underground complexes that are very dangerous to travel through uh you could die very easily but it if you know what you're doing you can easily live in one and you can easily survive one that's the thing that's what i'm saying you could start out in these and you work from the bottom to the top it's a very it's it, there's a bit of rng involved but it's very much on you to calculate those risks and then go through with those risks that's why I love the lab start. I will never do it because, oh my god, my brain has to think more than 1,500 steps ahead and I get a headache just thinking about it. Uh, but, the, but the character we're going with is literally starting naked and with no supplies. That's what we're going with and you'll see why that start is going to be very difficult. So, we got the world options here. <laughs> You're probably seeing, if you're experienced in the game, you're probably seeing a lot of what the fuck, but it's, it's okay. I'm going to explain why. We're going with 11 for size of cities. A bit bigger than average. I would say around, I guess, 25 to 30% bigger. I don't know exactly how the, the, the scale works for cities, but it's just like, I think 10% per a, an increment or something. So with with like like radius size though like the whole radius because like let's say you're at eight so let's say it's eight tiles with nine it's nine tiles now so i guess it's like exponential growth but i don't know exactly how it works so please don't quote me on that uh, let's just say 30 to 40 percent bigger cities simple as that city spacing uh very far apart I want the cities to be incredibly rare. I want I, I I would set this higher even if I could, but the max is eight, so oh well. We have spawn rate of 3.5 times the original value. For a lot of people that might not seem like too like too big of a deal, but in my opinion, how I see spawn rate scaling in this game is it, it's it's also the same for cities. It's exponential uh where two is like a good amount of zombies three is a shitload and anything past that is dumb you don't want to go anywhere past that uh because it's it, it, it maybe they changed it but in the old days from what i remember it was exponential uh you, you whole cities would be filled chalk filled with zombies if you kept raising that up uh any past two and a half so i put it to 3.5 because i have some sanity in my in my brain uh, but it's going to be a very interesting start. Item spawn. This is the big issue for this for this world. 
This is 0.05% spawn rate. If you don't know what that means, is that let's say there's a fork that would spawn 100% of the time there on a the table. Now it's 5% of the time that fork will be there. So keep that in mind for rarer equipment. So let's say 5% of the time. Now let's, I don't even fucking know. I think 0 0.25, 0 0.025 or something. I forget. Or 0, 0, 0.025. I don't even remember. Uh, the, I can't even think of percentages when it comes to that low on the top of my head anyways. I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> I'm a dude who plays video games. Random NPCs. This, this is new to me. Uh, before, down here, I think you could see my mouse on the screen, which is, I'm going to hide it, don't worry. Uh, random NPCs would be down here. It would be the same thing as spawn rate scaling, and you can disable random uh, starting NPCs. I think you can still do that. I hope you can, because I'm not going to lie. I don't like the spawned NPCs. I like finding people, like genuinely finding a random person in the woods. I think that's really interesting. Uh, but it seems that they're working more so on the role, like RP aspect and having you interacting with people, which is awesome. I think that's great. Uh, but don't expect anybody to live. Because I've, oh, I've also mentioned, I forgot to mention. Uh, about people, there is a mod for balancing, I believe. It's uh, disable food NPC needs. We disabled that. I, NPCs are actually really strong, in my opinion. You can get like an infinite number of them. So you have to feed them. They're people too, you know, all of a sudden they're not like immortal creatures that don't need to drink, eat, or sleep. They now need to eat, sleep, and drink water. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the world. So that's completely new. I don't know what that is. It's, it's, I guess it's every eight days we'll find a random person. Cool. Monster evolutionary, evolution scaling factor. This basically makes it so that shitty monsters become stronger monsters, eventually. Eventually, that's just how it works. Uh, this I don't fuck with too much because I, since we have so many zombies in the game, I don't think we need 400 hulks or 400 incredibly dangerous zombies spawning in a single town. We don't need that. Uh, I like a good balance of all three of the, the dangerous creatures, such as very e like easy, medium, and hard. Uh, I'm also going to add, due to Secronom, Insane. So there's four difficulties for monsters. Insane is very small. The group is incredibly rare and very small. Dangerous is more common than Insane, and then vice versa. Just keep going up the pattern. So with that, it is 25% more common to see more dangerous monsters, and 25% less common to see common monsters. If that makes, if that makes any sense. Or, or it's just 25% more of the time, like, a, a common creature would be spawned. It would be replaced with a dangerous monster. If that makes any sense. I don't think that's how it works, but... Again, I don't know much about the scaling and cataclysm. That's just how it is. Uh, for the region type. It's just default. So we're just gonna keep all this. I keep all this the same. Uh, wandering hordes, because I like zombies moving around the map. They're based off noise, I believe. Maybe, let me read. Yeah, yeah, which can wander around cities and will sometimes move towards noise. No, the current implementation does not properly respect obstacles, so hordes can appear to walk through walls under some circumstances. Must reset world directory after changing it for it to take effect. So, that's just, it makes it so that hordes can travel the map. Let's say I'm chopping down trees in the wood. Eventually, a zombie might hear the trees fall down because noise in this game is pretty cool. There's a lot of absorption in material, depending on the material depending on how far you are, depending on where you are, depending on how open the space is. There's a lot involved with that. Same with smell. The smell in this game, you could smell stuff, which is super cool. Uh, it's actually something I want to try more of, which is the smelling in this game. There's like, you can hear specific sounds. It's very involved with that whole, just understanding your situation aspect. It's very involved. And that's our world. So we're just going to copy this and then keep dinosaurs in. I didn't want dinosaurs in. If it doesn't work out, if nobody likes the idea of having dinosaurs roam the whole map, we'll die and we'll start a new game without dinosaurs. Simple as that. Uh, we have two... Uh, there's also two different things I, I should have mentioned. Actually, I'm just going to keep that there because it's the same. Uh, there's also two things here that I would like to mention in our graphic settings. We have a mod pack. Well, not a mod pack. More like a tile set that is uh, undead people. 
If you don't know who that is, it's uh, probably the most awesome tile set in the entire game. Uh, almost every single mod that is that we see is included into the tile set. So now we can see modded monsters, uh, like what what they would look like. Because normally you would just see like it's as it's an ASCII based game. So you would see like a letter or an at symbol, a one, two, or three, J, G, small, capitalized. It's just it's just using numbers and letters and characters as a way to show a monster. It's very obviously not graphics intensive at all, this game. Uh, but it will become very much uh I think memory? No, no, processing involved. Uh, because there's a lot of things that it has to keep calculating constantly for the game to work. Same thing with Dwarf Fortress. If you've never heard of it, it's called FPS Death. Uh, eventually, the game slows to a fucking crawl. And the game's over. Because you can't physically play the game at one frames per second. Or one turn per an hour. That's just... It, this won't happen, trust me. I, I, I prepared for this. Uh, I have, I've done a lot of work in my, in my off time to actually prepare for this event. So... We have ourselves our preset character, which is Ruben. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention, because I am a professional, and I keep forgetting to mention some things, FSGFS. You're probably wondering, what the fuck does that mean? This is going to be the FSGFS uh, Let's Play, or the playlist. It, fine, it means finally some good fucking suffering. Uh, because Cataclysm, in my opinion, is a very easy game. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, from here I go again with the, uh, back in my day, uh, uh, back a, a couple of years ago, uh, you couldn't even find cars. <laughs> the game was a completely different animal back then. It was an unbelievably un savage world. You would die at every corner. It was an incredible experience. Uh, but obviously due to constant updates and stuff and more content has added to the game, there's a lot of things you could do now to bypass a lot of the difficulties. Uh, they've, uh, they've changed some things to revert that easiness back, which is, in my opinion, thank you. Uh, such as wells, which were an infinite source of clean water. Now you get food poisoning if you drink from wells, or a chance of getting food poisoning, which is very good. And that was a needed change. Um, so it's a lot harder now to just start a game and just win that's that's basically it i uh, it's a lot easier now i mean sorry it's a lot easier now overall throughout the entirety of cataclysm to to get to eight to get to end game and there's nothing wrong with that you want a game that's that's customizable so this game is completely customizable because of that and that's why my my settings are absolutely bonkers and i haven't played this game in, in a year and a half or so and I'm not afraid to admit, I die a lot in this game, but that's the whole point. I, I, I don't like the end game. I like creating a character's story. Uh, I'm not a role player, but it uh, doesn't mean I don't think about my character in my head and, and make up a background for it. Uh, I would love to make a role play uh, let's play if anyone wants me to try. Uh, I'm not like a professional at it, obviously. I, I, I If you consider Gary's mod uh, any sort of <laughs> role play expertise, I am your expert uh, with... Over four years of experience, <laughs> but if you if you don't include that, which God, I hope you don't. Uh, I'm not good at it at all. I've just never been able to make up a character in on as or play as a character that who I am not, like uh, not me, right? But anyways, so this is our character, our presets. Uh, there he is, Ruben. Ruben's going to have a very hard day, and we're gonna play in the exclamation point one. Oh my god, I already forgot which world that I made. Uh, okay, it's the exclamation point one, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I swear I know what I'm doing, I swear. Uh, yes, exclamation point. Yes, Dynamod, there we go. Uh, there's going to be a couple of errors uh, that you might see, but they're very small errors. They're not an issue at all. As you notice, we're barely having any now. I think it's because... No, there we go, there we go. We had some. Very minor. Pfft, skip it. And we should get one for the car crashes, but I think I already skipped that already. Uh, you can ignore errors because I've never had any issues with it. Uh, so this is our character. I will explain to you his stats. I based off of, as you know, we have excess points. Uh, I based off my character off the random number generator uh, for certain traits and skills to get how many points I can be to be widely able to spend. Uh, we got a little bit, we got a little bit on the good side, but uh, that's, that's about it for this character. It, it was, it was actually, we got some 
No, no, it was it was actually a pretty good character to get. It was very lucky overall. Uh, how do I go back? There we go. So, how I do points left for uh, skills here is that I get to go four to eight uh, skill points I can invest. We got seven, so I put seven points into skills. I think would suit this character best for the situations that he will be in. For traits, it was two to five traits. I, you're probably thinking five is a lot, but there's a lot of like really small ones that are really nice to have. But other than that, we have we have three perks here, uh, or three traits. I was I only learned three, so we have quick, we have outdoorsman, and we have indefatigable, which is in indef. I I I think it's def indef. <laughs> That's one of the words I struggle with, indefatigable. I think that's how you pronounce it, but please correct me if I am wrong. Uh, I will probably search up a way to pronounce it better because I know I'm terrible at it. And the reason why I have to set a limit for traits is because I always get one trait that a lot of people would say is uh, not good, but I cannot play without it. Uh, it's called Imperceptive Healer. You heal only at one-tenth of the rate you would if you, if you were sleeping. Because... In this game, I like to play it as, like, based it off real people. You know, you can't heal a broken limb or a, a, a giant gunshot in your arm in a day, right? It takes a while. Let's be honest here, all right? I never liked that, that you could just sleep, o you could sleep off gunshots, uh, horrible bleeding, you know, stuff like that. So that's gone now. That's, non that's non-existent, which is great. Uh, and we got flimsy just because this character uh, just makes it just it just makes it harder. That's I have nothing to say. It's just it's just a nice little diff. It just makes it so you have to play safer. Uh, you're a person. You you if you get punched or shot, you're going to die. Uh, that's I wish there was I wish this was higher, but it isn't. So. So I can not gimmick this as much as possible or make this cost zero. I would love Imperceptive Healer to cost zero. It's an optional choice because this it, it completely changes the game. Uh, Imperceptive Healer makes everything much more enjoyable in my opinion. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of his stupid uh, brown, I mean red hair. So we're just going to do medium length. Boom. Oh my god. Thank you. I forgot to change that because there's no red beards. Uh, and for traits, we got a little bit lucky for this one. It's it was one, it was zero, zero to four. Uh, so it's either we get a completely average character, or we get a slightly better character, or a very good at specific one thing. Uh, I'm going. I I went more so for a balanced approach because a perception. You're probably like, why wouldn't it be better to go for uh, intelligence rather than perception? You walk into a minefield and then you tell me perception is not good. All right, you just you just walk into a minefield or a military complex and you just tell me how it went for you. All right, you just tell me. <clears throat> and then come back to me. All right, and then tell me. <laughs> I live and die by the nine perception. I will always get nine perception. I don't care. Uh, obviously his profession is a naked and afraid, uh, because I wanted to play the heroin addict, but it just wasn't too great. It just wasn't, it just, I mean, it's, it was fun, but it was, it's very, it was very lottery based, uh, victory. So I changed from it. Uh, I, I, I had a couple of really good runs that I just, out, out of testing, it was a lot of just, uh, like I literally found a bike. A fully repaired bike and that changed the game. Because you're useless when you when you have a withdrawal. I had two strength from nine. Two. Two strength. You can't even I I, I can't even process how bad that is. You can't run a, you can't even push a zombie away with two strength. You can't. It's just you die with two strength. I I, I it got so bad I wasn't even able to ride the bike. I had to take heroin to ride my bike. That's how bad it got. So it, it was just it was just a little bit out of place for me. I didn't want a lottery based character, uh, and it, and, it, and a lot of it was based off on the fact that we found heroin. <laughs> I need to find heroin to survive, which is 
I didn't like that too much, so I went with Naked and Afraid because it's th basically the same thing, just less lottery. Uh, but other than that, we can actually play the game. That's everything. Uh, so we're going to call him Ruben. I'm sorry for the big introduction. I will add, make sure to add a skip for this spot. For this, for this spot. Uh, so other than that, I hope you all enjoy. And here we go. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's everything. So, what kind of spawn did we get? Uh, already a very good one, in my opinion. This is a great spawn. Not because it's it's easy or anything. This is, this is actually a tough spawn to be in. But it should give us a couple of options. We have a couple of really nice buildings to run to. I don't know what that is, but I'm probably going to die if I go there. Uh, but we have to just be very careful. Because any any sort of traveling might get us killed immediately, because of the dinosaurs. I, I've I've learned that the hard way, like that. That's one of the dinosaurs. Luckily enough, it's, it's super fucking slow, and this won't attack us. It's a herbivore, or or like an insect, like a like a minor carnivore. A torosaurus though will kill us. And as you notice, they're all bright red names. These are dangerous. These are considered the dangerous quote unquote monsters. Some of them can be not as dangerous, or some of them can be very easily gimmicked. These can't. These are straight up just dangerous. Like they're they're dinosaurs. All right, you, if you're if you're gonna tell me that you could punch a T Rex to death, first of all, yo, tell me, hello. Uh, I actually never seen these because of the yeah 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 okay. They will fuck you up. They will straight up annihilate you. Oh my god, is that a fucking crate? Okay, we got a really lucky spawn. I've never had a spawn this good right at the gate. I'm not even lying. This is this is the spawn. This is the best spawn I've seen. So we're definitely going to mark this down as a crate. And we I don't know what's in there. I have no idea. There could be anything in there. It could be a gun. It could be C4. It could be a, literally an MRE. We don't know. It's, it's a military supply crate, but we don't know what's in it. Because a 5% spawn rate is drastically reduces everything. Reduces completely everything. Uh, so we're going to find a stick and hopefully break that open so we can find one of these shitty little trees here. That's fine. We got one long stout branch. So that's a weapon that can kill somebody very easily. Uh, do not worry, this will not explode. And it's an MRA. Not a big deal. We got some nails. We got some planks to use. Kind of cool. Great. I'm okay with that. Uh, so we will definitely keep this down as uh, an MRE. Nobody will take that. That's a food source that is very good. That's a very good food source. We can't be too mad about what we got because of the fact that having a preservable food and some sort of snack or high caloric intake food is massive for this character. Absolutely insanely good. Uh, because of the fact that we're going to be basically living off goddamn vegetables and nobody likes to, nobody likes eating vegetables. Uh, <laughs> uh, those won't attack us right away if we get too close to them. We just can't get too, too close. Uh, demon spiderlings are from... What mod is it from? Uh, Magicism. Because they will absolutely destroy you. Absolutely. They are super fucking dangerous. Uh, giant rattlesnake. We don't want to head that way. We just need to play it very smart here. Alright, we're gonna head to that cat... Okay, that's, that's actually one of the most dangerous things we could find this early. We need to get away from him as fast as possible. I think I just saw another red monster for a split second here. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to ignore this area for now. Uh, we don't really want to fuck with the big dinosaurs at all. Uh, we will die. Uh, 100% we will actually die. These will also fight us too. And those are deceivingly strong. It might it might show a common name. But they have a ton of HP. They have like 200 hit points or something. They are wild strong. That's a zombie. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening here? What is that? An Aculosaurus? Yeah, go after, the, go after him. Alright, dickhead. 
Yeah, it's gonna go after him now. So we just go back to walk. It will fight the Anklo, and the Anklo will be aggressive now, but luckily enough, it won't try to hunt us. Withered plants are nice, but we can't we can't risk it. There's too much dangerous shit here. Yeah, it's it's hostile now because it went aggressive. It's normal. And it will be probably aggressive forever. So as you notice, there's a shitload of dinosaurs. We found more dinosaurs than normal animals. That's the reason why I didn't want to use it, but it does make it interesting. Uh it, it does it doesn't it does make me worry about even heading towards this cabin. I might not even head towards it at this rate. Uh, but I need a house. I, it's, it's, it's very much needed. So we just gotta be very slow. We'll turn on safe mode again, which safe mode will be a lifesaver. What safe mode does is as soon as you see a dangerous, quote unquote, dangerous enemy, uh, it will stop it for anything, a dog, whatever. It will pause your game so that you can think about your actions before you get absolutely clapped and just die. Because, I mean, it's kind of hard to see when you're this big. It's very hard to see any monsters consistently. And when when you shrink down at all, it makes it so that this screen is less... Uh, it's just like, this is the optimal visual feedback for like what you see on your screen. The minimap is basically what you live off of for a very long time. So we found a building, which is the cabin. Uh, that's what we were hoping to find. Uh, oh my god, and the door is open. Okay. This is very good. Now we actually have a place to call home. I keep forgetting that. Please do not mind the fact that I always fuck that up. We will wear the wool scarf to have some warmth. We will also loosen it because it is a little too warm right now. A jean jacket. Any, any sort of clothing is okay with me. I don't care. Uh, we're still not encumbered too bad. A toothbrush, I don't really care. Now for the chance of a good item. That is amazing. That ch that changes everything. That really does. That actually does change everything. And you're probably gonna ask, how? How does that change anything? Uh, that is a butchering tool, a cutting tool, and a fine cutting tool. With that, we can now go and get what? We can just break all the shit in this house, open up the window, start a fire, you know? There's a lot of- that opened up so many options for us. But, there's a couple of issues that have to be obviously addressed. We have no food. We have no water. We have very little clothes. But we can craft some because, luckily enough, I grabbed this some, some tailoring skill uh, because of this exact scenario. And we have a stick that can break, uh... Some, just some stuff. Uh, we hope for the best that there's no zombies nearby because they will he, they will obviously hear this, uh, but hopefully not. We're obviously going to use this as a way to see. We're going to break this couch. Now we have some rags, and now we can start making some equipment. Uh, what we are going to make is I don't know, <laughs> probably something just to cover our head. Something to cover our body. Uh, and have a sewing tool. So we're going to make a needle. A knitting needle specifically. I think this gives a knitting. No, so what a needle. That's it. Uh, we will also disassemble one single rag. I think it worked. Wait. Huh? Okay. There we go. Which takes an hour, but it's very much needed right now. Now we can make a bunch of stuff. Very good stuff right away. We can make a jumpsuit, which is actually one of my favorites. Because uh, it covers your whole entire body with a very minor amount of warmth. But it gives you very minor protection. You're probably thinking, wow, what's the point of that? Uh, very simple. It's just a source of uh, extra survival. 50% chance to just take less damage. Basically. Oh, no, no. They did change the coverage system. Awesome. Okay, so this used to be a static number. So let's say the torso was 95. Everything would be 95. But now that looks like it's different, which is excellent. Good job. But what I want to have is a backpack. Uh, any sort of backpack would be amazing right now. But obviously, I'm not too bummed out if I cannot get one. 
it would be nice to have one, but uh, again, I don't really mind at all. We can make a... We, we need to level up first. We need to level up our uh, tailoring skill a tiny bit before we can actually start getting some stuff. So first of all, we're going to make a balaclava. We're going to drop the loosened scarf. We're going to wear the balaclava. Obvi automatically, that jumps us up from being in danger to eh, minor inconvenience. Uh, the game is a little bit loud. Don't worry about it. I will be fixing that in the edit. So just, just letting you know. If I forget or something, just let me know. It's not like terrible loud. It used to be super, super loud. I, I made sure I fixed that. Uh, but yeah, it was really loud before. Uh, I will make a fire drill. I think it's a really smart choice. Fire drill is basically just a way to start fire. We will craft a, another one of these. We need more thread, which takes an hour. Or used to take an hour. I don't know what it takes now. A jumpsuit, which is actually nice, but... It, mm. I mainly want minor equipment. I don't want too much uh, good equipment. Like, things that really encumber you. Snow goggles would be nice, actually. 100 thread, though. So I'll make an undershirt. We will wear the undershirt. We will make... Uh, can we make pants at all? Loincloth? Really? Ah, I think we need a knitting needle or something. No, we just we just don't have a. Oh, we need cotton sheets. Damn, I forgot about that. Uh, there we go. Uh, we just make a bunch of balaclavas, things that are. Oh no, we got tailoring three. What the hell leveled us up to three? Disassembling the rags? Okay, I'm cool with it. Uh, I think that gives us a bunch of more options now. Not really. Hmm. So we do need cotton sheets. Damn. Well, that will give us a way to... Hmm. But they did change a lot then, huh? Yeah, we need a lot. How do we make cotton sheets? We need a frame loom and a wooden shed stick. How long does this take to craft? 20 minutes. Oh. Okay, how do we make a frame? Frame loom. Okay. And a let's let's check the cotton sheet. And a wooden shed stick. This is all new to me, so... This is definitely all new to me. It's cool, though. Very happy about it. Uh, we will definitely dispose of and then store. Now can we make cotton? Yes, we can, but this was a... That's okay, that's a long-term goal. Uh, right now, we're not going to worry about that too much. We're going to make a spear of the shitty kind, but it's a very good choice. Uh, we're going to put some, some split of wood in there, a couple of, maybe one plank, two planks. Uh, where is my fire drill? My wonderful, wonderful fire drill. Thank you. Awesome job. Uh, now we have ourselves a wooden spear. Very nice. Something happened? Did my game crash? Hello? <sighs> no? Okay, we're gonna save the game really quick. <laughs> Not a fan of that. I don't know what the fuck just happened there, but ooh. Uh, so now we have a wooden spear. Uh, I'm actually gonna make two of those. Ooh, why can't I make a... Uh... Why can't I make another spear? What's up? What happened? Ah, we need another stout branch, which is perfectly fine. Now we can hunt. Uh, we're obviously very thirsty. We're obviously very hungry. Uh, I'm going to enable my my abilities to auto forage, which is you can set that in the menu for keybinds. Uh, it's very important to have this because I need anything that can store water. A bottle, plastic... Uh, these would be nice to get. 
I might, I also might actually make it so that we can do trees too. But, you know, anything that, oh, we actually have a giant fucking container on the outside. What am I doing? I didn't even realize. Ooh, like, look, this is what I mean, like, just a slightly easier option to... Oh my god, it has clean water! Oh! Okay, well, water is, uh... Why am I slowing down? I think it's because I'm warm, huh? Oh, one second. Sorry about that. I don't know why I get so stuffy when I talk a lot. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know. <laughs> Lightly weary. Uh, yeah, because we are a little bit tired. Not a big issue. Uh, but we have water. We have water for a very long time. So we're definitely not going to worry about water. What we need right now is food. Like, a lot of food. So... I guess we're gonna do some hunting. I think I just got some really nice, I got some feathers, excellent. Uh, also, it affects the item chance that we get from scavenging uh, with the with the 5% loot spawn. I'm actually gonna move this away. I don't know if they made it so that fire can spread. <laughs> I never had it happen, but still, it's just, just out of precaution. It's better to be smart about it. Uh, we're also looking for birch trees. Because we need to make some sort of shoe, or some sort of thing to cover our feet, because we are suffering a penalty right now. Obviously. Because we don't have any footwear. Uh, I was willing to sacrifice that. What can we make? What can we make? We can make straw sandals. That would be nice. Well, we can wear the foot rags, right? We can wear the foot rags and have... Yeah, see, now now we're not affected as much by the uh, effect of being slowed down. And right now we're just, we're just foraging plants and trying to get some supplies that otherwise we... Because you can find anything in a... Uh, what's it called? Are these birch? That's a maple tree. We have a bunch of maple trees. We can actually get a shitload of maple syrup in the winter, anyways. Uh, and let's not let's not be too uh, industrious right away because we we haven't even had a chance to get our bearings. Uh, hopefully, we can make any sort of hammer because we do do need a. Oh, we also found a source of water that we can harvest from, and then make into clean water eventually. We can make some... We have a bed. We have rocks nearby, which is excellent. Because that means we can actually make ourselves a hammer. Uh, like I said, this is a really good... This is the whole point, right? It's just understanding what works and what doesn't. Obviously, I'm not going to lie. This is a very, very lucky start. I will never lie to you guys about any sort of factor like that. Uh, but this is just the idea, right? It's just That's just how it works. It's just understanding what works and what doesn't. Oh, we also got fiddleheads, which is a, a source of, I guess, a source of food. It's not good, but it's it's better than nothing. Uh, so right now we need a stout branch. So we're just going to break one of these little trees again. Uh, okay, we didn't get any branches from that. Uh, I, didn't real I didn't know you can actually punch the trees. Okay, now we're not going to get any stout branches. Are you serious? Really? Thank you. Oh my god. I was getting worried there for a second. Uh, so, we're definitely going to just store up some of these in case we need to, uh, you know. We're going to get some stamina back, so we're not suffering as much. It seems like we found a nice little quiet area, which is, I'm not going to lie, quite nice to see. For now. Uh, eventually things will will eventually find us but for now we we have found a source of solace and peace and quiet which is a very i think we just found ourselves a sharp rock no we got two flints okay never mind uh 
Uh, sharp rocks are one of, I, I think, I think they've been replaced with flint. I think flint is the new sharp rock, but sharp rocks are, used to be the, uh, the one that would make you go pog champ. <laughs> I love saying that. Just, just, please. I know it's terrible, but just give me some credit. It's terrible, but it's good. <laughs> um... But it is definitely one of the only things that I look forward to. Because uh, you can make axes with it. You can make an axe head and then chop down a tree. We can make a short rope? Really? I hope... Uh, there used to be... Yeah, see. Uh, this is an issue with the short rope. Is that six rags equals six long strings. Uh, 30 rags equals six. I think it actually turns out that way. But it's just a really easy way to get long strings. I might do it anyways, because like, whatever. But it's a, actually a really good chance to fail. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> Which is good. I actually like this. This is awesome. This is a really cool mechanic. This whole new crafting rework. Definitely needed. Definitely needed. Okay. So, I don't know what we're going to be making. Uh... A rock drill. What does a rock drill do? Rock drilling. Okay. Yes. I can read. Very good. Uh, metal axe. Head. We need a chunk of steel for that. Which we don't have. Uh, what about a hammer? What does it take to make a hammer? Makeshift hammer. Yeah, this is the issue I have. We have to find metal for the hammer for some reason. We can't just make a stone hammer. Which is super weird to me, but I can I can see it. I can see it. We can make a metal one, but not a not a rock one. I guess it kind of makes sense because you might not know how to you know move the cloth around, but it's just a lot easier to put a piece of metal on something because it's what you're you're used to working with. But again, that's just that's just me being a fucking weirdo. <laughs> and we do have something with one hammering, which is the uh, stick. Which, I mean the rocks, which are really nice. Uh, quarter staff would be kind of nice, but again, it attacks too slow. Uh, the Nord is actually one of the greatest early game weapons because of the plus two hit. But again, it's just, uh, we have a spear now, so we don't need it. A uh, spear is a life changer, by the way. Uh, it, you can attack two tiles away with spears, or certain items can attack two tiles away. Uh, the quarter staff is not one of them, sadly. But it definitely, it could be, if they did something about it. <laughs> Uh, so we could, I actually might make the hoodie. I think the hoodie's a good idea. Let's see, what can we just make for storage? I'm gonna make the bindle. I think I'm gonna make the bindle. We're gonna wear the bindle. Uh, it's gonna give us a ton of arm encumbrance, but whatever. Uh, having any sort of storage is a must, must, must have. We're gonna make a hoodie. Hopefully. Did I make two hoodies by accident? I did, didn't I? Oh, rookie mistake. Okay. Well, we have... Uh, it's nighttime now, so we're going to actually sleep. You know, we can we can start another... We can finish this off. I think we can finish this off. It's a good idea to finish it. Uh, we're going to start a fire. I forgot about that. And we're going to work on the 86% hoodie. Drop. Awesome. So, what, what, what's our jean jacket looking like? Uh, we're going to unload the pockets. Because that's a new feature and I really like it. So this gives us a ton of encumbrance. We're going to drop that. And we're going to wear our wonderful hoodie. Which I think gives us three. Yeah, that's a much, much, much better uh, upgrade. And it also gives us a little bit of coverage. Where is it? Uh, never mind. Yeah, it gives us some protection. Which is good. It's great. And I think the G1 gives us... No, actually, the G1 gives us worse coverage. But we can use it as a blanket, so that's fine by me. Oh, we have two beds. I'd actually much rather sleep here, because it gives us a better chance to escape. Uh, and a more reliable way to escape, because if it's a zombie that breaks him, we can just close the door and he won't be able to uh, get us as easily, per se. Uh, actually, I'm going to cook these fiddleheads before they go bad, too. Oh, yes, I can't even cook fiddleheads. Which kind of makes sense, because my guy doesn't even know how to cook. Okay. We're going to save our game. Don't ask again. 
There we go. We finally have our first day of sleep. It's still nighttime, so we will finish up our sleep. <laughs> Don't ask again. We toss and turn. I think it's daytime now. Early morning. Hell yeah. Okay. We'll wield the spear. And let's go on a very small hunt. Uh, nothing special. Nothing too amazing. Uh, anything, in fact, would be nice. Uh, we're very lightly encumbered. Can we make better shoes of some sort? Can I make better stuff for my legs now? No. I need a actual way to craft them. Which I, I actually really like this. I think this is a really cool uh, mechanic now that they have. We also lost a ton of weight. Have a drink. Have a drink. This cabin is a lifesaver. I won't, I, I won't lie. This is a very good cabin. Uh, we're not going to fuck with anything too dangerous. If, if we see a dog or something, we might get the shit kicked out of us. But hey. Alright. Anything is better than nothing. I don't want to kill the dog, but, you know... Another man's friend is another man's meal in this situation. <laughs> Alright, I'll do whatever it fucking takes to stay alive. Ooh, okay, we're not going that way. <laughs> ah, there we go. Two of them, though. Hmm. Kind of annoying. We might be able to do something good with it. We might be able to play it smart. Uh, what would be a really good idea to make is a bow. If we can. Can we make a bow? Survival bow. One plank. Oh, shit. We could make a bow, eh? Oh, my God. We could make a bow. A bow would change everything. Fuck yeah, we're gonna make a bow. What the hell am I doing with a spear? I mean, a spear's good, but, like, not a bow good. <laughs> keep that one. Actually, we're gonna close that one. We're gonna keep that one open. Less, less visual feedback for us to receive a conflict. Uh, so, what does it take to make a bow? We need a ton of thread. Uh, where's all my thread? Thank you. Uh, let's let's move a couple of them. So we need like I don't know 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we need 800 or 600 I think Once drop it on the ground drop it on the ground drop it on the ground. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, let's just let's just drop it on the ground Once All right, let's try to make the bow. We are still, we're a little bit off. I was, I, thank God I checked. All right, so make, we can make the survival bow. Fuck yeah, we have a bow now. And you're probably thinking, man, but aren't you dog shit at shooting arrows? Correct. We're terrible at it. We're actually the worst. Uh, but we can make ourselves some crude wooden arrows. Which do, like, nothing. But they're better than nothing. So we're definitely going to take that. Uh, and, ooh, three hours. Uh, we'll make five stacks. Oh, my God. Survival bow. I can wear survival arrows? How many can I take of the arrows? How many can I take? Ten? Ah. No, I forgot they changed a lot of that. Uh, we can't carry these because the volume, I believe, is too long. I for I, I actually don't know too much about the, the new volume system. Yeah, longest length in inches. This is all new to me, this whole new system, which is really awesome. I really enjoy it. Uh, so we can't just, like, put fucking arrows in our pockets anymore, which is awesome. Can we make a quiver? We cannot make it. It's actually trash. Uh, so I guess... No, we can't... Uh, we can't even use our bow. Okay, so we're stuck with the spear. Well, at least at least we, you know, we learned something. <laughs> uh, back to, I guess, foraging. I guess, for now. 
I really should hunt one of the dogs, but now we're too tired and I don't want to take the risks more than we have to. Uh, let's go back on safe mode. Saving. Heard footsteps. Yes. Wait, what the fuck is that? Ah, yes. We could actually fight this. This this creature. I think there's a lot of them, though. So I don't really want to fuck with them. They always move in packs. But we are faster than it, though. With... <gasps> oh, it's almost dead. Thank fuck. Okay, so. Well, we have our first fight. We have our first real action. Uh, it seems like it has fought something. Oh, there's a few of them. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we have a chance. We have a chance here to, to be smart about this, okay? They're zombies. They're stupid. We have to keep that in mind. They're stupid as shit. And they seem to be kind of slow. Oh, yeah, they're very slow. Uh, like I said, they are very tough for some reason. And luckily for enough, the spear isn't getting too much resistance, so the spear should not take uh, too much damage. I wasn't kidding, man. They have a shitload of HP, man. Oh my god, is that a... What is that? Um, well, they killed a Triceratops or a Tarosaurus. I think it was a Triceratops. Triceratops, okay. Uh, fucking food, my guy. Wow, that's a whole hunt right there. We just need to be smart. There's no need, there's no need to risk more than what we need to. It's almost dead. We kill them, we pop the body, and we go away. And we go home. Alright? They're, they're bleeding a shit ton, right? Okay, he's, he's just stuck there. That's just, this is great damage. Like I said, they're unbelievably slow and they have a ton of HP. They have so much HP. They're crazy tough. Never underestimate these nine little ones, man. They, they have so... Like, I've done over at least 100 damage. Which is kind of cool. One of them, I think, died. We gotta keep our yes, excellent. That's a that's our first victory. That's our first real victory, and we're gonna bring this dinosaur home. It might take us a while, but it is our first victory. What is this? Of a leprechaun. Nice. Now that that thing is gone. That was a real actual danger. That I'm glad is dealt with. I hate leprechauns. Leprechauns would tear us in half. Uh, don't mind how I'm carrying a entire thousand pound zombie. I mean, triceratops, but it's fine. It's fine. We don't have to ask questions, right? It's a game. Home sweet home, baby. Home sweet home. This was the hunt of the century. This would feed us for weeks or a day or two, but still. <laughs> because the food's all gonna go bad. <laughs> But hey, hey, it's a good way to pack on some pounds, baby. I'll tell you that right now. The mighty hunt. All right, so we're going to go out of this. We're going to go you to you. Destination is full, huh? Well, that's tragic. It's, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Whole ass dinosaur. 
Oh yeah, 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 don't worry about it, man. We're just we're just cooking a whole dinosaur here. Uh, I don't think we could do a full butchery. Yeah, no. You can do it quick though. Uh, where did where did they all go? Ah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all that butchery refuse that we can't use. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I know what we're using to fucking burn. Yeah, yeah, whatever. 1,000. Boom, baby. <laughs> that should last a while. I, I think that's a big fire, too. Hell, yeah. That's good. All right, so we're going to cook a bunch of meat. Uh, we're going to cook just a little bit right now. Damn it. Well, it was worth a shot. It's just a way to get some, just to burn it all up. I mean, let's be honest, it's it's not a big deal. Because it's just too much. It's just too much. We can't use any of it anyways. I'm actually going to bring these giant uh, stout ones in. Just use them as a fire source. Because we can always get more. We don't need to keep the window open. I forgot about that. That was, almost, that was dangerous. I almost fucked us there for no reason. Uh, let's cook some meat. Yes, sir. Drop item. Now we have ourselves a full meal. Look at that. And we're gonna get fat. Like we're, we're really going to just eat. We gotta pack on the weight. Because with the weight, uh, if we pack on enough pounds, we actually will be fine. Absolutely fine. Nothing bad will actually happen to us. Uh, and it's just a good way to level up our skills and to like get other vitamins, you know, other vitamins, nutrients. And, uh, yeah. Like, the, like as you notice, uh, other continents, toxins, we won't really fuck with that too much. Uh, brains are really good for vitamins. We need a lot of vitamins. We're gonna cook all of them. Uh, let's get one of the, uh, let's, let's, let's see what we got here. Uh, put the rest of the butchery refuse. Actually, wait, what? Yeah, okay, Whew. thought I was crazy there for a second. And we're gonna put in just, I don't know, one stout branch. It's fine. Uh, we got some brains to cook. Nice. We're going to drop the food and we're going to just eat the brains. And we're gonna eat some, maybe a couple, a little bit of liver. You know, get some of those, get some of those vitamins in, you know? I think I just had too many vitamins, but it's fine. It's fine. Fine. They're all gonna go bad anyways. Uh, you, I don't think you could overdose in B12, but, eh, well, let's just hope you can. <laughs> but we definitely do need to pack on the weight. So, again, I don't, I don't mind definitely just eating a ton of, uh, of cooked meat. We definitely need to pack on the pounds. Definitely. And now we're gonna sleep with a full stomach. This has been a very good hunt. Uh, hopefully we don't sleep in too late because the food will start to go bad. I think it's already gone bad. No, we still have time. Okay, sick. Uh, let's put another stout branch. Goodbye, my sweet friend. I thought I was a fucking zombie that's, that was able to smell us or track us. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Sorry, I got really worried there. Uh, again, we're going to pack on the pounds. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're full right now, so let's not do that. Uh, sweet bread. I think sweet bread's good for vitamin C. Yes. What what else? It's just a, just a good way to level up our skills. I mean, we have two cooking now because of it. Kidneys. Uh, too much B12 we have. Lung, I don't really care about. His lung has toxins in it. I don't really want to do that. Uh, again, we don't really need to worry about the food too much now. Is there a way to make the fat into... Uh, lard? No. Can we make cracklings? Crackling should last a while, I think. 
Yeah, one week. Food of cooking. Can we make a pot? We can make clay, but we don't have any clay right now. But we will have clay. <laughs> That's the point. We will have clay. Uh, so can we make a shovel? Can we make a shitty shovel? A wooden shovel? Can we make a digging stick? Fuck yes we can. Never mind. I don't want one anyways. Just a dinosaur that's annoying us. Don't worry about it. Uh, where is my digging stick? Where is my digging stick? What did I... I think it's in my bag, isn't it? No? No? Digging. No, what the fuck did it... What? You wield your digging stick. What? I thought I had a wooden spirit. Whatever. Oh, we can't carry it because it's too long. Okay. Be gone, demon. I'll scare the shit out of you. Yes, yes, that's right. Be afraid of me. Yeah, it seems to like me, so. I might tame it. Hmm, we can have a little dinosaur as a friend. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, sweet bread. Meat. Always meat. Meat, meat, and more meat. Uh, hmm. Now what we're gonna do? I, th I think I was gonna look for clay, I'm pretty sure. What would be a really smart idea to keep this house safe is start digging here. Start digging around the house, you know? Like, uh, get some pits going. This has been a very lucky start. I'm not gonna lie. This is... <sighs> fucking ridiculously lucky. And we got some fucking clay first try. Good lord. Okay. Uh, not as much clay this time, but not a big deal. Digging stick. It's gonna take a few tries, but... It will eventually get us a piece of clay. Eventually. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're super tired, so we're working less. I, I get it. I get it, dude. You don't gotta tell me twice. Uh, do we got any more meat? Ah, oh, it's all rotten now. Fuck. Oh, well, we got one piece. We can still get sick from this. I don't want to risk it. Burn it all. Uh, because the reason why we're going to burn it all is because of the fact that um, if you keep it in your house and it rots, you actually can cause issues for yourself. Such as zombies can smell. Uh, dinosaurs clearly could smell the meat, right? So that's the reason why we're just going to be smart about it. And just burn it all. I, I I know I know it's it's a big waste of food, but I mean it was it was just a just a thing that happened, and we got very lucky because of it. All right. So how much does it take to make a clay anything? Clay teapot would be nice too. I can't cook, so there's no point in that. A clay pot. We just need one fucking thing of clay. A clay bowl. Is that cooking? No. Uh, Hydrea would be amazing to get but that's going to be a very long time from now a clay jug would be great uh our goal is to make the clay pots we have a huge selection of we can we can actually start making our own water and such which would be very very nice oh also we're dehydrated so let's not let's not fuck with that too much let's let's get some water in our bodies have a drink have a drink have a drink have a drink have a drink, have a drink, have a drink. I know it's going to take us a little bit, but we should no longer become... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, thirsty in a little bit. Can make some more food. Anything we can make. We can make tallow. Ooh, tallow's really good. Tallow's really good for... Uh, what's it called? Uh, my brain can't think, but it's fine. Uh, for 
like hides and tanning. So let's see if we can tan any hides. Oh, we can make a hide bag. It needs to be cured. Wow. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, we're gonna sleep in for a very long time. Probably, we're probably gonna pass. Yeah, we're gonna hit noon, which is kind of an issue, but we just need a bit more clay. Is that it? Oh, there we go. That's all we needed. That's all we needed was a bit more fucking clay. Uh, hopefully we can start a fire here. Uh, where Where is our wonderful, wonderful like, stuff that we don't care about? Uh, we, we can get plenty of the big sticks. So we're just going to use one more big stick. And then we can go and get more afterwards. Uh, I think we can make the pot right here. Oh, let's go, dude. This is very good. Uh, hopefully, for the love of God, we don't fail. We don't fail. We don't fail. That's all that matters. That's it. We we have a huge issue solved. Now, 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 we can actually put the rest, put one more stick in, because I don't care at this point. I'm very happy. And we can make some tallow, which would actually help us a lot. And I think if we make tallow, we get some cracklings. Never mind, we don't get cracklings. But we do get tallow to eat. Which is not a good source of food, but it's definitely a source of food. Uh, what about fiddleheads? Can we make some boiled fiddleheads? Ooh. Mm. Don't really want to eat these, but they're good for uh, vitamins. And at least some sort of food. Bone broth! That's a really good one, too. Uh, cracklings. We can make cracklings, which is a fatty, very fat based food. So we're definitely going to eat some of these. Gain some weight. Makes us, uh... Now we need another pot, uh, for another reason. Uh, can we make a sort of... What about a Hydrea? I know that's a lot, but having two of these would be massive because having two of these would mean that we can actually have uh, water coming in, water coming out. We can have lots of... So now we have a clay pot. Actually, that's really nice. I'm super happy about that. Uh, yeah, we have too much soil. I'm, I, I forgot about the soil. That was... This, this whole run has been super lucky. I'm not gonna lie. This, it's it's incredible how much uh, how good it's gone for for no reason so we're gonna move you out the house what about you is you're the only one that's in there the fuck? no I don't oh I have caps on oops so move all the soil outside we don't care about the soil uh the reason why I'm actually starting to build a pit is because I'm gonna put spikes in it so that anybody that comes close to our house will die straight up that's the, that's the whole point of this. Yeah, sorry, this episode's a little bit slow. This is definitely going to be a slower series, but the thing about this, I can post this whenever I feel like because it's a single-player game and none of you guys have to worry about too much of the issues of missing out on content that I forgot to mention. Uh, I think I should be able to make a quiver now, shouldn't I? No, no quiver. Maybe I can make a hide bag just for now, and then just wear it and put arrows in it or something. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. I can make a bone flute. That'd be kind of fun to do. Make us happy. Stone chopper. I don't care. A tinder. And yeah, this is all the stuff that we want to make. 
is like fucking charcoal kills, middle furnaces, the good stuff. This is all very hard to get to though. We have we have no metal. Bread knife is actually really nice. Actually, no bread knife is terrible. What was the really a butcher knife? Fucking bread knife. Yeah, so we can butcher with a bread knife. You can though. It's eight. It's not terrible, but a clay crucible. Ooh, that'd actually help us a lot. But for now, we're fine. Uh, we just need to go find some more food. Always. And find a way to preserve our food. Uh, that's that's the next big thing. Smoking racks. Yes, I forgot to mention that. Uh, we can make ourselves a kiln with the... That's not, that's not what I'm looking for. Kiln. Fine. We need a shitload of rocks. Uh, or we just need a lot of hammering. Actually, never mind. We need lots of clay. Eh, we'll talk, yeah. Uh, clay kiln would be cooler. Oh, pottery. Never mind. Uh, this is the one that we want. We want this for the charcoal. Which is very good. Very, 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 very good. Uh, so now we need to make a... Can we make a hammer now? Can we finally make a stone hammer? So weird. Well, you can always find a chunk of steel from uh, foraging, so that's always that to look forward to. And there is a whole ass road up here that we can, in fact, go and, you know, get supplies from. I think we leveled up our piercing weapons from that, too. We had to. We, we fought those guys for fucking ever. Yeah, we got, we, we got one, you know, which is really nice. Uh, we're still going to... Harvest bushes. Oh, I should butcher up that leprechaun, actually. That will that will bring zombies near the base. Eventually. Because of the smell and the carrion. A lot of things we have to keep our eyes out on. I won't fuck with the dogs. The dogs can kill us. We got lucky and got a fucking whole triceratops, right? We can't... We can't push the luck any further than it has. My god, that would be too fucking greedy. Alright, so we're, we're just gonna go on a rock run, I guess. And just keep, just keep gathering shit. Uh, we're getting a lot of fiddleheads. This will level up our survival skill very fucking slowly, mind you. But, uh, it's a way to get survival skill. In the end. So where is our giant sticks? There we go. I also have to set up the organization. I forget how to do that, though. Zone manager, there we go. Whew. It's been a while since I've figured out, I've done any of that stuff. That's I'll probably do that in an episode that's just relaxing and that's just I'll show you guys how to use that. That's like the best thing in the whole fucking game. Is that. The zone organization. You can make it so that like everything you care about goes into specific places, like a wood pile, you know. Really just just like a life convenience sort of deal. Long, stout stick doing its job. Now we need 40 fucking rocks, mind you. So that's going to be a little bit... That's not, that's not an easy task, but it's... I mean, it is an easy task, just a boring one. It's it's needed. Yeah, we can... Oh, yeah, we turn off safe mode. Nope. 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 Awesome. Man, there's a lot of rocks that, that are out here. Uh, also, this does take time. Fuck off. So we need to keep that in mind. This is a slow thing to do. Just keep moving items around like this. Uh, how many do we have? 30 rocks. Nice. Like I said, it's an easy task, just it takes a fucking sweet bit of time. And might as well, since we're out here, we can go get ourselves some more sticks. That's fine by me. I didn't think of that either. We should just grab everything we can. 
It also gives us a little bit more movement, I guess you could say, technically. But uh, again, it's just something that we need to keep our minds out for. Uh, and hopefully, we can put a bunch of shit that we don't care about here. Uh, specifically, maybe the bathroom? We can use the bathroom as like a shitty smokehouse. <laughs> it's not a good idea, but it's uh, it's an option. You know, we close the door and just forget about it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It'd be kind of fun. Uh, so we just need a couple more rocks. What is that? Feathers. Damn. I thought I thought it was a piece of steel for a second. I was like, be like, <gasps> I'm like this has changed everything. No, I still have not. Uh, I love auto forager. It's just oh, we left some rocks behind. Oops. Yeah, we tried walking through the tree, that's why. Yeah, that's the reason why I don't like these little trees. They stop you from auto-moving items around. Uh, used to be for everything, like bushes, you name it. But now they made it so that you can move over bushes and shit. Which, in my opinion, is... Where are you? Where are you again? I forget how close you are. I don't want to get close. We're not going to get close. If we do, we die. Simple as that. Demon spiders are not a fucking joke. I hate them. They are terrifying. They have ruined many, many good runs like this. Oh, I left them behind again. Because of those stupid fucking sticks. Trees, I mean. Okay, let's get all these. I want more. More firewood is always nice. Uh, I think they're actually start. Yo, it's hostile. Nope. 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 I told you, man. They're dangerous. They will. They will fight. Uh, actually, if you if you have a naked start and you are in the woods, right, and you want to like do something like this, you want to find an area like this. Uh, find it here. This is an amazing spot. Very low visage, very low, like, you know, not many things can see you. Uh, it forces a a very small path for things to attack you. Yes, you are cornered, but it in reality, that is more of a benefit than a negative, especially in Cataclysm, because a lot of things will funnel in. Uh, and it's better to be one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one than fucking fully surrounded, because fully surrounded is GG for your character. Uh, and this would give you a lot of just basic shelter or safety you know things won't be able to see you uh things can't break trees very easily so eventually you could put like a wall here a roof here a bed here uh it's very like min maxing and gimmicky but like if you want to survive you you gotta do some weird shit and i mean it makes sense right you just you make a shitty roof connected to the trees right you know people do some weird shit in their fucking lives <laughs> what makes you what makes uh, the people who play cataclysm any different People made hammocks. I can make a fucking... What is it called? Thing. I, I'm amazed we haven't gained weight yet. That's... That's a, that's a little odd. But not too bummed out by it. I mean, having normal weight is great. And now we sleep. Ooh, actually... Uh, no. No, 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 no. Stop trying to fall asleep and get out. It's still, it's still daylight hours. What are we doing? I can do more digging. Yes, the best part. Everyone loves it when I dig, right? I swear. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Dig pit here. Dig pit here. Dig pit here. A large rock, huh? An anvil. Oh my god. We have a basic ass anvil now. Awesome. That's really good. Sick. Uh, pebbles. Stuff I don't really care about. But the, the big, the large rock is really, really unexpected.
that's basically what we're going to be basically doing for a little bit is digging holes in our base, getting comfortable, making sure we're safe. And uh, that's basically it for now. Ooh. What noise is that? You hear footsteps. Hello, little piece of shit. Come here. <laughs> You're not scared of me? There you go. Fuck off. Come here. I need dinner. Oh, not so fucking fun now, huh? You little, little goblin. Uh, it should be bleeding, minor. Oh. I don't really want to fuck with it anymore. I just wanted to fucking scare it off. They always annoy me, those little shits. I don't know why, they just... They have a lot of HP. They're way tougher than they need to be. <laughs> like, the Triceratops die, but those little shits that killed it were like, I don't know. It's a tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Oh, run, 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 run. Just run, just just run, just run. What are we doing up here? Oh, and my alarm clock's going off. Well, we're gonna head back to base, do a couple of little things, and then we're gonna end it off here. Uh, that Triceratops is a life-threatening situation. <laughs> Triceratops will murder us. Do not fear that. So we're definitely not out of the woods yet. But, but, uh, I think we can make a quiver now because those are small game arrows. No, cannot. Simple, small game arrow. Crude wood arrow. 15 inches in length. I can only carry nine. Okay, I'm starting, I'm starting to get it now. I'm starting to get it now. Simple wooden bolt. I, could I make a crossbow? No way I can make a crossbow. No, okay. Arrow. Uh, can, can be sorted in short cordage rope. I can wrap cordage? No fucking way. That's so fucking... That's funny. I like that. Okay, okay. Let's try that. Rope. Birch bark, long cordage pieces, tan bark, or 72 withered plants. Birch bark. Oh, birch bark is very rare. Especially right now. I haven't found any yet. Uh, Willow, though, might give us some bark. Yeah, Willow barks. Okay. Can we make the, the shoes? Shoe. Bird spark, though. Mm. A little bit specific. Oh, we got some birds. It's right there, right in front of me. I was just blind. Don't worry about me. Uh, we do need more willow barks for the cordage. This is good. this is gonna be a long process to start using a bow and arrow. Let me tell you that. But it'll be worth it. Trust me, it'll be definitely worth it when we can start using a bow and arrow. When we can use a bow and arrow, we'll be we'll be laughing in the food, the stonks for food, baby. It's gonna be. Mm. It's gonna be a nice, easy life. Why can't I drop them all? Am I like, I was dropping them the wrong way. <laughs> oh, I think it's back. I said be gone, demon. Be gone. I do not care for you. I care for the survival. And the loot. Uh, I just need one more piece of birch. Come on, man. Oh, there's birch down here by the demon spiders. I guarantee it. Birch. Uh, birch. Birch. That bindle is coming in very much in handy. It's very nice. What is that? A dinosaur egg? Huh? Yeah, anybody hungry? Yeah, let's cook some eggs, baby. They're 
there's no way I just got that from from foraging, right? That's that's crazy. That's actually nuts. Uh, sure. We we got some stuff to make. Oh, we got raw rotten. Oh. I think we can still tan them, but that's. It's a bit risky, man. It does cause a lot of issues. Uh, let us see what we have. Fiddleheads, fiddleheads, fiddleheads. I don't really care about those. We're just gonna burn them. We have 45 stout steak. Uh, we're gonna eat some of the crack. We're gonna eat the last crackling. What's my weight at? Huh? Hopefully it didn't fuck something up with the weight. Because I did just eat a shitload of food. I think, is, is, isn't there a stick in there? Yes, okay. So we can cook. Uh, wooden bolts, food. Hmm. Really not much we can do except for just hoping to get more clay, huh? Hmm. We can make a fiber mask. Oh! Cool. Rope. Okay. Uh, let's make those birch shoes. Uh, okay, don't worry. <laughs> I couldn't spell birch for a second. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> Pair of birch bark shoes. The cupboard's 15 though. Mm, I don't want that. But... Oh, well, that's. Um... This would be nice too. That would be great too. Birch bark ankle sheath. Which would be kind of nice. Sure, we'll make this. Five hours. Cool. Uh, should not be too terrible for our feet. And with that, I think that really helps us a lot with moving on ground. It gives us some coverage on the feet, at least. Doesn't give us much protection other than that. Yeah, it sounds like I'm wearing actual shoes now. Yeah, okay. So that will actually give us zero penalties of moving on random grass or some sort of random thing. Uh, so that's really nice. I was really, really worried about that. Uh, but bone sewing, I don't really know what to make then. Canvas bag? I don't even know. Washboard? But nothing's dirty. Uh, sheath. Can we make a knife? Oh, well, we can make the sheath anyways, whatever. Ankle sheath. No, no, not an ankle sheath. Sheath. It's a regular good old sheath, man. Uh, sh sure. We'll make- we'll use the sign out, we'll, we'll dispose your wielded weapon, drop the wooden spear, and we are going to wear the sheath. We're going to activate the sheath. We have nothing. We're going to activate the sheath. Sheath a knife. Whoa, whoa. It's already in there, huh? Free volume. And I think it gives us back our volume. Sick. So now we have our steak knife on us at all times. So we can butcher out in the fray. Very good. Very good, in fact. Uh, we're going to drop all this wild shit on the floor and clean the birch. We're going to drop the feathers, the two rocks. Uh, and we're going to drop this as well. We have all of that. And now we're going to take our wooden spear, which is actually kind of useful because now we can actually have a use for the spear strap. Which I've actually never used before, ever, in fact. Because of the fact that the storage base was based on just how much you can carry, which is which was really weird, but now it's realistic and it's super cool. Digging stick, dig pit here, put it all there. Give me more clay, damn shame. Digging stick, dig here. 
Awesome job. Flat flaking rock. Huh? Guess we could just throw this at somebody? Stone chopper. Mm. Yeah, that doesn't really help us. Alright, well, we're gonna definitely fall asleep now. And uh, that'll be the end of this episode. Again, I hope you all enjoyed. And I will, well, we'll just fall asleep first and then we'll end it off. Because it's always nice to have a good transition for the next one. But other than that, I hope everyone enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.